everybody hope you guys are doing good in this video we're going to talk about the levels of self of speaking and how when you are preparing at home you should increase not everything in one go you cannot just change your self of speaking from a level six to a level 10 in one practice by implementing everything within one minute but it has to be in levels and in this whole video until the end we're going to cover the different levels you need and i'm going to give you practical examples on how to implement those levels all right so We'll look right now at one question and I'm going to do a sample first, how it sounds like originally when I do this casually speaking and that's how most students sound without really thinking about the examination criteria. And then we'll level it up by one point, then we'll do something that will increase one more point and then one more point and so on. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. Just uh, listen to my samples, you'll get the idea. now. The question here is dealing with a difficult situation, uh, which is preparation time 60 seconds and speaking time 60 seconds. This is part six of your speaking. The question says you, Ryan and Rogers, you three are roommates. Ryan, who is the youngest, has some problems with Roger. It is going to be confusing because Ryan and Roger are a very similar name. So remember, Ryan is the young one. Okay. Ryan is a messy person. Uh, Roger likes the house to be clean and well organized. However, Ryan throws clothes and trash everywhere in the apartment, which is making Roger angry. What I would do here is I would assume that I know these people. Ryan is someone who I can relate to. So imagine some young guy you know who is messy and um, irresponsible. And then Roger is someone mature. I would think Roger is someone like me who is just too, uh, too much of a neat freak. So that will help me make the situation realistic. I'm already thinking like that. Okay. All right. Now I can either talk to Ryan, explain how Roger is feeling bad and uh, uh, bad about Ryan's tidiness. This is easy for me because I'm thinking already like Roger. I'm thinking like the neat person and I want to be harsh on Ryan. Or I could talk to Roger, the old guy, and ask him to bear with Ryan's ill manners as he is younger than Roger. So I'm not going to do a one minute sample. By the way, I have done lots of samples on all types of speaking questions. You can check them all over my channel here. But I'm just going to do a 30 second sample just to show you the levels that I'm going to reach. Okay, let's talk casually, assuming that this is a real situation and I'm talking to Ryan and Roger right now. All right, so, um, hey Ryan, how's it going, buddy? Look, uh, I gotta talk to you. Your tidiness problem is, is really becoming an issue for Roger. You need to be better at that, bro. Like, you need to uh, clean the house more and uh, pay attention to the stuff you drop in the kitchen. Sometimes you shave and stuff is in the washroom. You know, your hair are in the washroom. You gotta be more clean. Uh, we cannot, like, I'm also getting frustrated by that. Okay. All right. Short sample. What will I score here? Um, a lot of people make grammar mistakes too. I'm just not making grammar mistakes. If I do that, it's going to be too much of an acting. So without grammar mistakes, this one would score probably six. So what I'm going to do now is uh, how do I get from six to seven? Okay. First of all, there's no grammar mistakes, which is great. But what can I do first? All right. So it's going to go on top. Fine. We're going to write it here. I'm going to get rid of my fillers. Okay. My fillers were like, and you know, I didn't say too many ums, which is great. A lot of people say ums too, but I know that like, and you know, were my fillers. I'm going to get, get rid of them. And what I'm going to do is add pauses. Let me, let me put it this way. So it's clear. It's, there's no confusion. Remove fillers and add pauses. Okay. Whenever I want to say fillers, like, or, you know, I'm just going to add pause or something else, which we'll discuss later, but let's do a 30 second version now. Hey Ryan, how's it going? Look, I heard that, uh, Roger has been complaining about your cleanliness. It is pretty frustrating to be honest. You gotta be more responsible around the house. We see stuff dropped in the kitchen after you cook. We see you don't take care of the washroom after you visit. You gotta be more attentive, my friend, and so on. Okay, it still looks unnatural. There's still some problem, and I'll get to that. But the problem that I fixed is there's no like, there's no you know. Selpip wants you to make it sound realistic according to the situation that you are in, but if you are super realistic, Selpip doesn't like that either, right? Because then you become casual. You say um and stuff, but we can't do that. All right, fine. One thing at a time, okay? We fixed just these two things, which is kind of like one thing. When you're removing fillers, you're putting pauses in place of them. So it is one thing. 
So we just increased our level from six to seven right now. This is only seven guys. Even right now, I'm not nine or 10, okay? Okay, fine. Let me try another thing. I'm now gonna add connectors, okay? And let me do a quick version again. Hey Ryan, how's it going? Look, I gotta tell you, you gotta be more careful about your cleanliness. Roger and I have been panicking about that nonstop. Plus, plus, you have so much free time on your hands. How come you don't look after the kitchen or the washroom? Overall, I think you're being negligent about this and blah, blah, blah. All right, so overall I added, I added plus. All right, I added a few connectors. Maybe I'm gonna be seven to eight right now. Like these two to three words wouldn't do enough to just get me to eight, but at least I'm now seven to eight in the examiner's mind. What I can do further is I can include some adjectives. This is gonna be another level. And now with, with doing this, I can reach a level eight, for example. Hey Ryan, how's it going? Look, I gotta talk to you about your cleanliness. Unfortunately, I gotta say it's pretty disastrous. Almost unbelievable if you think about how I clean and how Roger cleans the house, it's in front of you. Furthermore, when you live with us, you ex we expect you to behave the same way, especially when it comes to cleanliness. All right, so I got my connectors. I got the unbelievable and unacceptable, I think I said, something like that when I defined his uh, clean cleaning activities. And now I have added more descriptions to this. Okay, now I'm at eight for sure. I have added some complex stuff in there. I'm getting rid of the mistakes. I'm using more connectors, good. Let's add one more thing and it will be adverbs. Now I'm not gonna do the whole thing again, but adverbs are just some something with a Lee, right? So something like um, quickly, nicely, surprisingly. So in one of the sentences that I was saying, I think I already said that maybe, but uh, if I were to do it again, I would say surprisingly, it's terrible. And I say surprising because you see how we clean, but your standard unfortunately is not up to the mark. So surprisingly, interestingly, quickly, slowly, Lee's add more flavor to your speaking. Right now, I think I'll be at a nine with all of this. Um, it's, it's jumped from seven to eight to eight and then to nine with the use of all these things. I still wanna solidify my nine and 10. I wanna go higher, um, considering also I don't have any grammar mistakes, right? But I wanna give the room. I wanna give the room for grammar mistakes. So if I make two grammar mistakes, I could easily be down. But if I add some complex sentences, I'll go up in terms of range and vocab, right? So let's say, a com well, complex sentences, if you don't know, by the way, there's a lesson on that on my YouTube channel here, but um, they are just sentences which have two parts to it. So due to the rainy conditions, comma, we cannot go outside. That's a complex sentence. Sorry for the edit. I like to do these videos continuously without any pause. There was someone at my doorbell and I had to take care of that. So continuing, because I want to show I'm doing this in front of the camera without any teleprompter or anything, all right? So now I'm going to incorporate all these things, including the complex sentence and a short version just to show you what, how to improve this level to the final level. And then I'm going to tell you why we did it in so many levels. Why didn't I just do this in one go? Okay, so the final version would look like something like, uh, hey Ryan, how's it going? Look, I got to talk to you about something extremely serious. Your cleaning is just not up to the mark. Actually, it's unbelievably lackluster. You gotta take care of the mess you're making, especially when you're in the kitchen or after you shave in the washroom. There's hair everywhere. Roger has been constantly complaining about it. Not only is the complaint that Roger making valid, but also I myself am just super uncomfortable with you just being negligent. It's more about the attitude, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I got the not only but, and that is my complex sentence. I had no fillers, I had good pauses, I had connectors, many adjectives, um, like uh, there was cleanly, well, I think I said his, uh, whatever I said about his cleanliness, like it was terrible or, there were a few words I mentioned, I don't remember them now. Uh, there was unbelievably, with the adverb I said, and there was there was another Lee or two Lees at least, I'm sure. So I did all these things. And uh, now I can confidently say my level is 10 to 11. 
I'm not going to say 12 because for 12, you need expressions and emphasis too. I could have done a better job there. That's another layer that we can add there, but there are more layers. There's a complete description of this. There are multiple questions that I have attempted just exactly like this, but in way more detail, you can check all those out in my course. The link is in the description. That's where you get the whole recipe written down with the templates and with something you can easily copy paste. All right. But, um, as promised, I'm going to tell you why I did this in so many levels. Simple, because if I told you to do all these things in your very next attempt, you will struggle to do that. So work on one thing at a time, okay? If it's removing fillers and pauses, just do another speaking. Do that first. And not even once. You can do that five or six times. Then connectors. Do it five or six times with both of these things. Then do these things together five or six times or as many times as you need until you get at the highest level in those areas and then you incorporate more and more. Okay, and then there's more again, as I said, there's layers to this, there's expressions, there's a vocab thing too. Uh, in fact, my course covers a complete section on vocab for one hour. That's how detailed it's supposed to be. So you can check that out in the description. And if you have any more questions, you can email us. Link is in the description as well. For more lessons on CELPIP and on English, please like, share and subscribe. We'll talk very soon. Good luck.